Hi guys, welcome to the video everybody. I'm so happy to see you. Now let's go inside the presentation. So it's called Simple Way to Hold Life by the Balls. <laughs> so it's another way of saying that to become the best version of yourself wherein you are living the life of your dreams and the life that you really, really want to, to have, right? So the objective of this video is to give you hope and inspiration. So if you are somebody who is feeling down right now, if you feel like you cannot solve the problem in your life, and then you feel like life is going like downward spiral, downhill. This video is going to help you guys. Don't worry about that one. I got you. I got your back. The next thing is to point you towards the right direction of your dreams and the life that you really want. Or shall we say to help you solve your problems right now and then slowly bring you towards the life of your dreams. Take note guys, I'm just here to lead you through the way to the water as what they say but i cannot let you drink the water you are going to drink the water yourself this would be a wisdom a framework and a mindset that i'm going to give you and then later on you are going to be the one to take action right because all of these things will be we can stop from here already like all of these things will be nonsense if we are not going to take action so i highly recommend you to begin and then to take the action okay but no worries, I'm going to give you like simple, easy steps to follow and then actions that you can measure because whatever we measure, we can know if we are like moving forward or like moving backward. We, we, we know that we are moving towards success or we are like uh, receding. We are like, oh no, uh, I think this one is like a roadblock. This one is like a bottleneck we're in. I, I, I am like stagnant here. I'm not, I'm not improving here. Yeah, we are going to, to take that into account later on and to help you develop skills and abilities so this is very important guys as human beings right we are living and then we are dying and in between this our cycle of life which we cannot escape from so we are born and then eventually we are going to die after many years let's say 10,000 years <laughs> it's very funny let's say like a hundred years to be positive about it but in between is your life and this is where we are we are going to manage things we are going to optimize things we are going to make things efficient we are going to make you powerful strong smart wealthy healthy very loving and very happy and whatnot so this is what we are going to talk about in this video okay in order to achieve that it everything comes into our mind right you need to have a growth and open mindset guys you need to open yourself open your mind to to the knowledge that is already uh, being shared by people who are successful who and who have experienced all the failures and the teachings is there for you to 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 take and to be yours and to apply it into your life so some of these teachings that I'm going to teach you is from my own experience and some of these are from the experience of other people that I gathered and I fact checked and then I apply it into my life and then I can say that it is worth the try. Okay, so by training, I am a research in engineer, guys. I am a world class, world class research engineer. Take note of that. So I can teach you. Okay, so every people that is just like for example in my work so i have this expertise and people who don't have this expertise come to me so that i can teach them to know let's say for example a machine or a, a certain process right now i had resigned from my work in order to pursue my passion which is to teach and people still from my field is is messaging me hey what what did you do here uh, what was the what was the the process that you did or what recipe were you were you were you doing or were you inputting or what what was your 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 program again like how to operate this machine uh, how did you do this how did you do that because there's an expertise involved guys so what I'm trying to get through is these teachings were experience by me that is that i'm going to impart to you all right and these teachings are not only from me but also to other success from other successful people as well so i can guarantee you okay i can guarantee you that you're going to learn from from this presentation and you are going to transform okay i'm going to help you to be resourceful 
as well so that you can gather all the resources that you need in order for you to grow and to transform into the person and the being that you wanted to be okay this also going to help you become a problem solver that's very important guys because life is full of challenges and setbacks if you don't know how to play the game of life and you know just observe let's say just observe this room this room if you don't touch anything it's going to be dirty it's going to be dusty so that's the nature of life guys the nature of life is like leading to destruction you know but it's a cycle give birth life then death so it's it's something like that so the same goes through with your life you live and then challenges challenges in between you need to like master the game of life right so that's 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 what we're getting to here and then eventually of course as we grow old we <laughs> and and that's life we need to we need to accept that but in between we need to we need to be happy we need to become wealthy we need to love express our gratitude love people open your heart open your mind exp experience all these beautiful things in in the world right so that's all for your taking guys don't stay on your shell and just be ah i'm lazy i'm i'm nobody which we all are we are all nobody in the in the in the scope of the universe we are just a tiny speck but with this also is a gift that we can nourish, we can cherish, we can be grateful for, we can share to the world to have impact, right? So that's you. I want that. I want that to be you. And yeah, finally, the goal is to have the the life of your dreams, uh, that is your own design, right? Whatever you learn here, is that you become the creator of your life, and uh, then you make your life as happy as it could be and that you are proud of yeah so moving forward let me tell you this you are given superpowers guys and you need to use them so this is a two portion you have and then who you are you have meaning to say the resources that you are endowed with or that you are gifted with you are given with you have unlimited potential guys take note of that even though you think you are worthless right now, I can tell you right now that you are worthy, you are enough. You have unlimited potential. Because you have this greatest tool, which is your mind and your body. So some people even, right, if maybe if they're like totally something wrong with their mind, then it's, you cannot help it. But some people who has amazing mind and then some people has amazing mind but their body is injured their body is not you know not perfectly functioning the way it is but they still manage to become very impactful to other people you know you can like look around you and see these people some people are like playing sports they join the paralympics some people are motivational speakers some some people are are like yeah, they give inspiration to, to other people, which is a great thing, right? So if you are down in the world right now, look at these people. Look at how they are not giving up. Instead, they are thriving. They are like successful in their life and even having an impact to the rest of the world, right? So this is, these are like inspiration for you. These are like tools that you can harness and put inside you, your life and to expand and to become like a big, bigger person. Yeah. So all the knowledge in the world is at your disposal right now, guys. You need not to be lazy. You need to find them. They are just scattered everywhere. Mentors, amazing people who is like ah, nobody's nobody come to to come to me. I'm willing to teach them. So some mentors are already like very active on the social media world wherein they offer you their 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 seminars, their boot camps, their immersions, right? So if you really like them and then you research on them, backtrack their success. What was their success like? What is their current life? How are they living? And then if you like them, if you resonate with them, consider applying on their seminars or consider like 
being in their boot camps you need to like invest invest guys the greatest investment that you can have is the investment in yourself and as you grow your mind your body your spirit your emotion your character as you grow you invest in yourself learning from these people great people you know because if you can do it yourself you can become successful yourself without the help of other great people you should have done it already right but chances are if you are not exposed to these people your mindsets that's why going back you need to have a growth mindset your mindset might not be the right mindset to become successful so you need to expose yourself with this amazing successful people that you that you admire you need to have this spark within you guys like intention and desire within you to become successful because if not your frame of mind will be still the same and then the actions and habits that you are going to take is not going to lead you into the success that you that you want like for example for me uh, very very simple uh, before i was playing basketball and in order for you to be have a, a measurement of success, you have to have something in mind, your target and your goal, guys. Write it down. You need to have a goal, a clear intention in your mind. So a few years ago, I really want to become like a basketball champion that is like leading my team. So I was practicing hard. I was practicing hard every other day. So you can even see it on my Facebook videos before I, I, I try to post like some of minutes of my practice, but aside from my minutes of a practice that I post, there's like another two hours of investment of my time playing basketball. So if you are, and then learning from mentors, you know what? My mentor back then was like, I, I, I invest in myself. What I invested was that I, there was, there was this app called Masterclass and I had taken the Masterclass of Stephen Curry. <laughs> so he was the best player in the world during that time and i don't even know how to shoot three 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 points because my position was center so what i did i just study everything that stephen curry is doing and that i implemented in my practice and then lo and behold guys through through two seasons of us playing basketball i had shot like two buzzer beaters during the semifinals two buzzer beaters so without fear just implementing what Stephen Curry is doing and then I had shot a couple of three points in our finals game and then we become champions so so this simple example is that when you are learning from mentors your level is is getting getting higher like I have some examples in dating and relationships wherein I study like world-class dating mentors you know if you know them like i get some few examples like rsd rsd is like radial social dynamics way back in many years ago they are like one of the leading dating and relationship advice people so i followed them years guys and then i have you know uh, i've followed other five dating gurus so when you study you need to have at least three mentors that's going to like uh, give you a lot of broad, broad, broad yet specific on that niche of that knowledge that you want to learn, like examples and 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 practice sessions and and, and whatnot that you can experiment on, and then eventually you can weave weave it on your own personality, and then you can execute it in 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 your own life. So that's very very precious, guys. So with that my dating and relationship right now is very very successful i can say uh yeah and then study study wealth what what do you need to become wealthy so i'm not a, bus a business person so i'm as i told you i'm an engineer so engineers is an em employee in a sense right so i'm, I'm very much aware of that one so my wealth is not so like wealthy wealthy as a business person but i learned the fact that you need to save some money that you need to invest in yourself so 
I was saving like 35 to 40 percent of 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 my 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 payment my salary and with that I have now some amount of money that I save you can call it like a little bit like a fuck you money so a fuck you money to let's say to to my boss <laughs> something like that but I have no hard feeling to my boss it's just like right now so you see I resigned but I'm very confident that I can like leave a little bit of my own in a few years because I have this amount of money and I'm not scared um, yeah basically that's it for my example let's let's proceed to 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 the to the presentation guys so once again resources and materials that you need for your success is waiting for you you just have to use them one example that i have also is like before when i was working i transferred home back in singapore in an hdb and then i have this bed so speaking of materials or resources that you need guys this bed that is there on the room when i transferred but it's not serving its purpose when i sleep it's like moving and it's like the foam is like very hard you're not comfortable I meaning to say something is like not giving you happiness or not performing well let's say in terms of bed the bed should be perp the bed's purpose is to make you sleep well and properly right instead it's it what it's doing is like it's making my life miserable i came from work very tired and then i want to rest and then that freaking thing is giving me some hard time to sleep so you need to identify all these things <clears throat> that's making your life miserable and freaking change them because all the materials and all the resources that you need is waiting for you but you just have to have some investment into them so what i did is to like go to ikea because i was living in an ikea very near that time in singapore in tampines and i find a bed of my liking so you have to have some trial and error stage as well guys so what it is that you like like because you have some feelings and this feelings is for you to guide you what is it what fits into your needs right so i tested the bed and finally i find the bed that is on <clears throat> the exact size and then the exact firmness that i need and then i change that bed I, I tell the owner that uh i don't like this bed you need to voice out your concern as well guys this is also one thing that you need to learn is to speak your truth speak your mind in in a in a win-win manner right i said they, i tell the owner i'll change this bed i i don't ask the owner for the bed to exchange for me because they might not give me the one that i like as long as it's new so even if it's new and i don't like it it's also not good right so it's better that i choose the one that i like that on my liking like you know some people like soft bed some people like hard bed so i'm in between i'm the in between one so yeah i change it so just to give you elaborate to you this this thing because some people are just what's given to them they're just okay with it even if deep inside their heart they don't like it so what i'm telling you and what this means is that there are things in this world that is going to serve your purpose things in the world in this world that is going to meet your needs so you need to find them guys they're just they're just around okay so it is your freedom of choice yeah everything in your life is your choice if you choose to stay a loser you will be a loser if you choose to become a winner and to live the life that you want slowly but surely you're not going to accept things that does not meet your standards also this is another way of saying to raise your standards guys so because you can you will stay the same if you are not raising your standards let's say for example in 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 going back to basketball or whatever sports that you love if you say you're a losing team your team is a losing team if you don't practice as a team if you don't practice individually you will stay as a losing team right so that makes sense and i use that the like sports analogy because it's very very close to life right if you are not doing the right things in life you're going to stay the same guys yeah with this in mind 
let me remind you that you are powerful because your actions impact others. Make sure that you're doing actions that are good. You see your mouth. When you speak, you need to speak well of other people because this, this mouth of yours is very sharp. If you speak ill, let's say if I speak something bad to you, chances are there's a very big chance that it's like a sword that's going to cut your heart and that's going to hurt you. And for me, I'm very aware of that. But sometimes some people need to hear this to wake up, right? But most of the time, you need to speak gently and lovingly to other people. All right, make that as your default. Not unless if they deserve to have like a, a difficult conversation wherein you need to point out things that they keep on repeating, like keep things that keeps on hurting, hurting you. You see, this, this is also comes back with this statement, like their actions impact you, their actions hurt you. So I want you to be mindful of your actions because you're powerful and use these actions to improve your life. Yeah? Now you get it that you're powerful, right? <laughs> yes. And then you are smarting the, smarter than you think, guys. You just have to stretch yourself a little bit. Learn through the mentors. Learn through the books. Because you cannot be lazy, guys. You cannot be lazy and just suddenly think that you are smart. You know, let me give you this example. Before when I was like elementary, I, I every time there's a test, I would expect that to have like a high score but actually if i backtrack i didn't study i just study maybe like glance 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 here there here there like read very fast don't let it really don't let my mind really lap, wrap into the, the the teachings of the teachers or the teacher the teachings of the book and then i just expect ah, i read i read this and that but actually the questions is really I did not like really answer it properly. So, but I was expecting that I have to have a high score, <laughs> and that's fool's fool's expectation, guys. Because you did not put in the hard work, you did not really have the knowledge, and that you're expecting to get good result. The world does not work that way, guys. So you need to be smart, but not lazy, because there was this 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 there's this quote in the bible that i really like uh, guys it's it's from the book of Zerach. Zerach is like an old testament and it says that wisdom is first going to test you so it's going to test you is she is like they, they call it she she is like very hard to 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 tame because it's going to test you just like you before you achieve wisdom right you have to have some difficulty in your life and then some experiences wherein your mind is really like, yes, I know this. If I do this, I'm going to fail. I'm going to not succeed because I've tried it and it does not work. So speaking of smart guys, you need to earn it for you to be smart. Just stretch yourself a little bit daily, like study a little bit daily, like 32 minutes to an hour. And then eventually wisdom is going to be and implement of course the 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 the, the things that you learn because if you just learn in, in your mind and you don't take action it's also nothing right so wisdom will not be yours and take note guys we have this we are creator we are a creator this is this is who you are you can create like this video that we are doing right now this is a creation this will be a content later on that you can watch right so what what drives you? What is your passion to create, to design? Do you love to design clothes? Do you, love, do you love to design shoes? Do you love to create music? Do you love to create videos like this? Do you love to create some challenging games for people? Do you love to create some basketball plays or music? music? You, do you love to create some architecture? Do you love to create some engineering work? What, it is, what is it that you love, guys? So you have to give it out to the world. As you can see, you are very powerful, guys. You create, can create impact into this world. And that, by doing that, by giving value to other people, you people are also keen to give back to you, to give back their, their, their love to you, to give back their attention to you, to give back maybe their resources, their money to you, and to pay you to for your design or whatever it is, right? Or for your training or for your transformation, right? 
for their transformation yeah and you are the captain of your ship and you are really responsible for your life guys be responsible for your life because in in this life it's like a matter of cause and effect so whatever your action is there would be an effect right so if you do bad things bad things is going to happen to you <clears throat> if you do good things good things is going to happen to you so it's up to you guys <clears throat> as i was said i'm i'm just here as a messenger for you to give you the right knowledge and information and it's up for you to implement it into your life you are responsible yeah so with that <clears throat> let me tell you this life is a game guys so as what we discussed a while ago you need to be better in in playing your life so let me go with this one first so how you experience your life is depending on how you <clears throat> how you how you like be wise in life how you like learn from your from your mistakes from your failures and not repeat it not repeat them again and to make your life better as you learn from your mistakes right so these are like these are like the levels that I, I I put here. Actually, I think there are six. After master, there is like a grand master where you're like very 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 slick with your life. You have a lot of investments, money coming in. All the people likes you. You're famous and stuff like this. And then there's a legendary level, even like super famous, super rich, super love people and super giving. So so yeah, guys, it's 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 nice to to like put gamify your life so that you will know that you need to take action you need to like like level up level up your life right not stay in in you are not stay in where you are maybe you already like where you are then that's amazing maybe you're already already here on a master level wherein your life is amazing right then that's that's great i'm happy for you so let's go back here a little bit uh, here on this area so this is the great design of life guys you are born from your marvelous parents or your parents is miracle worker they are a miracle worker like my mom and dad is a miracle worker because i was born my brother and my sister is born and you are born we are all miracles from our parents guys then this is the middle part wherein we live from our childhood to our adulthood and then eventually we die right so in between this is very very important guys is your decision here on this part this life although you grow up and then you have some influences from other people you need ultimately your life is yours i'm telling you that your life is yours and it's your decision alone to do what you want to do with your life if other people is still deciding what to do with your life maybe there's a problem there maybe <clears throat> they think that you cannot decide for your life because you're you're here you're a noob you don't know how to make your life fun you don't know how to make your life amazing so you're making a lot of mistakes in life over and over and over again that's why they are trying to guide you so what i want you to do is to listen to, to their advice if they really went mel well for you if they really want you to to be have a good life then listen to them because if you don't listen to them and then you still do your actions do your daily decisions that is bad bad for you bad for the outcome of your life then better let them control your life i mean like better let them decide for you and follow them because you're a loser <laughs> uh, I hate to break it to you and I hate to say that you're 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 not deciding properly but sorry sorry let me let me go back but as you listen to our previous lives right your life is in your control and then all the things is under your disposal you just have to find the good mentors maybe the people deciding you maybe your parents your aunties your uncles are eventually are already good mentors for you so you need to follow them and implement their, their advice at the same time my advice to you is to read books of those really really successful people because they can shape your mindset they can make make you 
even more greater than what you are right now yeah so and the and for those people moving on let's move on to those people who are who thinks they are in control of their life because they have a good upbringing and stuff like this uh, I just want you to to do this to do an audit do an audit that is that is here audit of the influence of the people that had shaped your beliefs and your values okay so this can be our parents or guardians or people we look up to since our childhood and you can ask are they their beliefs and their values that they are showing me or have implemented or have uh, put inside my mind that I believe are still up to date because sometimes okay let, let's finish this or uh, up to date and then is it the ultimate truth and then are those people that had given me advice let's say financial advice are they living the life that I want are they are they rich enough are they like their advice is like empowering me is there love in their advice sometimes is there tough tough love so some some truth sometimes guys if you are not doing well and people is telling you that you are making this bad decision and it's hard for you to accept it it's like there's an ego in you so are they giving you tough love are they telling you the truth so with that you need to like understand and say let go yes i'm accept that you are doing the, the bad things the the wrong things and then you need to change your actions change your approach in your life right so yeah that's that's what i'm doing as well i'm telling you the truth it can hurt a little bit it can hurt a lot actually but when you but that's for your own good guys and then you need to audit your place right now the place that you're living is this a place for you to grow up and follow your dreams is this like a breeding ground this place is a breeding ground of your dreams let's say for example if you want to become an actor is your place right now having a training or a let's say a drama class wherein you can become a good actor a celebrity if you want to become a celebrity if you want to be famous or yeah sometimes we can nowadays we can learn online right so you have to search for this this platforms wherein you can grow and you can follow your dreams yeah so that's what i'm saying is your life right now is in your hands in your in your the decision is in you so it's really up to you so i hope this presentation is like waking you up and is guiding you yeah okay let's 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 proceed on on the on the, on the things so life is rooting for you to win guys don't 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 say that ah life is killing me life is suffering life is 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 worse my life is uh, the worst right now but life actually encourages you to have fun and level up there are a lot of fun things to do in this world guys and there are a lot of people who is loving who is helpful who is willing to even sacrifice for your success but don't take advantage of them just take the right amount of 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 their time and then some of their resources to help you accept them and then don't don't how to say don't abuse you see there's also a word of abuse because some people abuse other people too so there are people who is willing to help you have fun uh, encourage you level up and all the positive positive things but don't abuse them please uh, sometimes all these people these people who are already successful can smell you from afar if you are just using them also so you need to be careful because they might lock their doors and not be in contact with you anymore so so yeah guys have fun and enjoy your life as you level up everything that you need is ready here in a lifetime whatever you want your dreams to be as what we discussed a while ago right so yeah have a big dream guys and let it be world class let it be a level that is world class level because if you have big dreams that is in world class level 
chances as chances are you are going to have a roadmap okay this is this is the best way that i learned in in, in order for you to to follow your dream is to b- dream big dreams let's say for example uh, you want to become a poker champion <laughs> let's go to poker because i also love poker poker world champion so poker world champion uh, you are going to have this goal right so with this in mind becoming a world-class poker player you need to like study really study from the best of the best in the world let's say poker coaching then you need to be near the area wherein there is poker because poker is some sort of like they call it like a little bit of a gambling but actually it's a matter of skill i believe and then if you want world class you need to be attending this world event let's say asia poker tour uh, europe poker tour world poker tour so you need to plan for these events in order for you to be known in the world and then when you win this event you are known to be a world champion so these are like the steps and the guide you see it's very the, the path for your goal if it's big it's 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 very clear and you can say no to the things that okay try to play poker here on this person's house actually it's just you can learn and experience from that but eventually you want to move on into a bigger and bigger and bigger stage right so what it what is it that you are dreaming of and then become world class and then backtrack backtrack from that status or that world class level already that you are the path that you are going to take because it will be very clear guys i can guarantee you that one so let's say if you want to earn more money like how much money do you want to earn and then backtrack because you can very clearly see let's say for example for me right i want to earn let's say a million dollars then if i backtrack on my current situation right now uh i mean a few years ago like a year ago i was an engineer then i have this certain amount of salary no matter (laughs) no matter like my salary per month like no matter how i calculate it in let's say i want it i want to have a million dollars let's say in 10 years is very conservative already guys let's say 20 years <laughs> i still cannot have a million dollars with that salary and that's fucking insane you see if you have a big goal you know already that your direction the direction that you're leading to currently as compared to that big goal if it is the right way or not right so yeah have a big dream guys and make it like a world-class level you know you see here it's a puzzle and you need to know the big picture so you can like backtrack it that's what that's what we are talking here about and then find the right combination of 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 pieces in a puzzle that you are going to put in your dreams and then you can say no to those other things that you will be doing that's going to take your time that is not leading your into your dreams yeah so then you cannot force things also you need to be patient because in order success takes time guys it's not it's not an overnight it's not it will not be an overnight success it will take time so be patient guys and the good thing is that the path to your success can be multiple or maybe a few paths let's say five paths but not 100 or 1000 or 1 million path you have to say no to those other things other things but there are like a few paths that's very clear that's going to lead you to to the goals that you want and have an abundance mentality guys meaning to say you can achieve it that's what we say all the resources in the world is available for you to to explore for you to use you just have to be resourceful yeah and then you need to be creative and innovative guys so yeah that basically it with our video and the action steps that we are going to take is is on this on this part so this is the four pillars of life guys your health your wealth your love and relationship and your happiness recently i discovered that this is like a wellness your this is like a total will wellness structure for your life that you have to take care of your health wealth love and your happiness recently i discovered that they are eight so but 
on the those eight it encompasses here already this four encompasses all those eight already but that that eight is just uh like a full breakdown of everything but this is like a general thing that you need to really take care of first is your health guys you need to be health focused because without your health you are you are going to experience the world badly let's say if you are almost sick most of the time you won't have the energy maybe the power the drive to to fall in love you know you might want to fall in love but it's a pity for your partner to always let take care of you so you need to take care of yourself for your partner and then your partner should take care of his or herself for you too right in terms of health and then the same goes true with your wealth uh, you need to have a positive cash flow guys not only does this does this that does not only talk about a financial this also talk about your relationships and your love it's all encompassing here guys but okay let's let's talk about finances here so you need to have like a positive cash flow guys and try to spend within your means what your income current income is right now just spend within that means and don't spend too much because otherwise you will have negative cash flow and then you'll have stress in your life that you don't want and then you will be fighting with your loved one that you don't want and then you cannot travel to places that you like and then you cannot eat the food that that are like very nice food to eat and dine in the nice places so these are also very very important things to take note to have a positive cash flow we're going to discuss through this this these details in in the future video guys uh this is just like a a, a starter for 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 you a, a good knowledge to grasp so i highly encourage you to watch this video again so that you are really your mind is like really going to digest everything that what we are discussing here right so with this very very important to have a growth mindset guys so that you will not be fixed there's a comparison to this you will not be you will not have a fixed mindset so that you can become adaptable yeah so this is it growth mindset you believe in yourself you can learn anything given the right amount of time and resources and feedback as what we're saying everything is available for you so you can learn a new skill learn a new language learn a new habit overcome your fear without any problem because your mindset is is fixed don't just say i'm afraid to fly airplane nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no just take the freaking plane and let the captain so uh, let the captain have all the problems he's the one fl flying the plane he's the one trained he's the one uh who should be the one to to take you to the other to the other place that you love that you want to visit safely right so give that problem to the captain and have no fear right plane is like the safe the safest vehicle that you can ride right because every safety officer every mechanic every the the pilot and and the cabin crew are all trained so why fear right <laughs> so yeah 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 so that's that's what the, the 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 growth mindset is about then you are adaptable and you are resilient so this is guys so let's end with this this is a comparison with the growth mindset and the fixed mindset yeah so this, there, this is the situation let's say for example right here when you experience a challenge if you have a growth mindset you're going to say to yourself like this is an opportunity to grow but if you have a fixed mindset you will say oh my god i don't want this ah, i cannot solve this so yeah so that's the difference between the growth and a fixed mindset in learning a skill you you if you have a growth mindset you can say like oh cool i can't wait to start learning this 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 skill whatever the skill is and the fixed mindset is like is like i know i'm not good at it uh, i really cannot do this you see you're not giving yourself a chance to 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 grow guys to improve and to learn a skill which is amazing right if you are playing a game improving your skill is one of the best thing to do because 
you're going to to thrive in the game. The game is going to get easier and easier as you learn more skills, right? And you are going to fight this amazing final bosses, which is nice to experience. So next situation, if you experience failure, a, a person with a growth mindset will say, awesome, I can learn from it. With the person with the, the fixed mindset will say, I told you, it's my limit. I cannot do it. <laughs> when I hear this kind of reason, I kind of like, oh, shit, you're a loser. I'm, my mind is something like that. But I, I'm just keeping it to myself. Guys, you need to identify if you have this fixed mindset. I really highly encourage you to, to jump over the growth mindset bandwagon because it's, it's really, 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 really for you, for your future, for your, for your life and for your future family and friends and person that you are going to be, be with or that you are going to encounter. You're going to spread positivity if you have a growth mindset, guys. If you have a fixed mindset, you might not know it, but you're really spreading negative energy into people around you. Okay, let's move on to the two other situation about other people's success. With a growth mindset, you are you are going to say, I am so inspired by their success and I want more success for them. And with that, I can study their success and implement it into my life. Yeah, that's, 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 that's very, very good to have. You see, guys? And then if you have a fixed mindset, you are going to say, oh, shit, I'm so jealous of them. And then you, even worse, you can say, I could never be like them, which is not true. You can be anything that you want. As long as you have the, the proper guidance and the proper resources, you can, you, can, you, can be, you can be whatever you want. As long as you believe, guys. Oh, yeah. And final thing is that right now we have a lot of new technologies coming out, right? And with a growth mindset, you will say, oh, great, a new tool to help me learn and grow. Oh, I can use it for, for, for my business, for myself, for my work, for my day-to-day -day life, day-to-day -day living. It is like my assistant. Yeah. But for the fixed mindset person, you will say, like, ah, I like more better. The old thing is much more reliable, is much more better. Because you are used to it, but you don't know that the new tool or the new, I don't know, machine or the new technology or the new framework that is given to you is much more updated version it, and it can like triple quadruple or 10x your performance or your your productivity right <clears throat> so you have to have a growth mindset guys okay i think that wraps up everything of our presentation is almost like 48 49 50 minutes now and guys i just want to go back here so guys, and let's wrap up from here. Everything, you are this person. You are this super human person. This is you. And I have no doubt about it. You just have to have a growth mindset, guys. Because everything is here for your taking. Everything is here for you to use. Use your resources in this world, guys. Use your what's given to you, your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul. Your, your capacity to impact other people, to teach other people, to make other people happy and to make yourself happy as well, and to give inspiration and hope to other people. So you need to, to make use of yourself, guys. Don't be lazy. You can do it. I believe in you. I trust you. I love you. So with that, also don't forget to take care of your health, to take care of your wealth, to take care of your, your loving relationship love and relationship your partner your children the people around you your family your friends right but of course there's a limit to it you cannot give everything so just give enough without hurting yourself okay and then find out what makes you happy and then go and do it so yeah guys that's that's it for the video if you're still here listening to this you're really amazing you're already this superhuman being and just continue doing what you're doing and yeah that's it guys i'll leave you with love with my care with with my heart to you and go make an impact into the world and remember this is your life and it's your design guys see you on the next one bye guys take care